Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Tia and we're gonna go over this week's Muscle Minute Workout. So for this Muscle Minute Workout, we're actually gonna switch things up a little bit. We have eight exercises that we're gonna work here. We're gonna have 60 seconds of hard work, 10 seconds to switch, to switch between exercises, and we're going through all eight three times straight today. Now we'll have breaks between rounds, maybe. I don't know, it depends on the coach's mood that day. But you'll have some time to recover, I'm sure. Can't and stop maybe, stuff. who knows, yeah, no, maybe no, not. No. It's gonna be a good workout, everybody. You ready, Tia? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with some squat presses here. So you can grab a set of dumbbells, get those dumbbells at your shoulders. You're gonna sit as low as you feel comfortable and then drive up, pressing those dumbbells to the ceiling at the top. So it's a deep breath in as you sit back, push those knees apart. Use that momentum coming out of that squat to throw those dumbbells up to the ceiling here. As you're getting tired, if you need to, you hold those dumbbells at your shoulders, take an extra breath, get started again when you're ready here. The second exercise, we're gonna grab our suspension trainer and we're gonna work our TRX rows here. So, leaning straight back, moving plank position. Glutes squeeze tight, shoulders are down away from those ears. Tia squeezing those shoulder blades, pulling your chest up toward your hands and pushing that air out. Now to make this heavier, step a little further in. I want you to start as heavy as you feel like you possibly can. I know 60 seconds is a long time, so as you need to, step a little further out, lighten that load, either one foot back or both feet back. The third exercise is our tall kneeling halo. So we're gonna go down to our tall kneeling position. You'll grab one kettlebell or dumbbell here. Nice wide stance with those knees, glutes are squeezed, abs are rolled up, and then you're just going around your head with that kettlebell. Notice how Tia gets to the back and she kind of lets that kettlebell pull with those lats, giving her a bit of a stretch as she goes through. So we're going to one side, and then we're coming back around, over to the other side, glutes are squeezed tight the entire time, abs are rolled up nice and tight here as well. Now from there, we're gonna stay on the floor, we're gonna work our pike toe touch push-up. So push-up plank position, you're gonna pike up nice and high, reach for your toe with your opposite hand, come back down to that plank position, and then add that push-up in here. So it's a push-up, pike toe touch, pike toe touch. If you need to take the push-ups out, that's fine. You'll just work that pike, or pike toe touch. Every time you come down, make sure you come back down to that strong plank position. So it's a pike toe touch, hips get high, back to that plank, toe touch, hips get high, back to that plank. You can also work this from your knees if you'd like. You don't have to make it, they know okay. Tia. Okay. From there, we're going back to our kettlebell. We're gonna do our kettlebell clean and squat. So get that kettlebell set up there right between those toes, arch that lower back, yank that kettlebell up to your chest, and then into that squat. So it's two movements here. Clean it, squat it, push those knees apart, drive back up, take it back down to the floor. So it's a clean and squat on every single rep. Again, if you need to, at that top of that position, take an extra breath, get started when you're ready again. From there, we're going down to the floor. We're gonna need a ribbon band for this one. So we're gonna do our glute bridge with the band pull apart. So get those feet planted under your knees. You're gonna drive those hips up by squeezing those glutes and then pull that band across your chest here. Hands come back in, hips go back down. So we drive those hips up, squeezing those glutes, pull that band apart. If you want, you can keep those hips up the entire time. You can also work a single leg glute bridge as you're working this as well. So whatever one you wanna work here, challenge yourself for that six 60 seconds and focus on your breathing here as well. From there, we got two more exercises. We're coming up to our box and we're gonna do some side step ups. So now you can hold some weight for this or you can go with body weight here. You're gonna get that foot set up on one side of the box and stepping out to the side. We're coming up and then over here. So you wanna step out to the side and drive up. Now you can work one leg for half of that 60 seconds, then switch or you can go back and forth here. So coming up, stepping over to the other side, back and forth here again with some weights or without, whatever you can do really well. Challenge yourself. You can always make the weights lighter, get rid of them as you're starting to get tired here. And from there, we're going to our last exercise. We're gonna do our square crawl. So getting set up with those hands and feet on the floor, knees just above the floor here. We're going two steps forward, two steps to the side. Make sure you're pushing those knees apart. Two steps back, two steps over to the other side here. Get that suspension trainer out of your way. And then two steps forward. You're just gonna crawl in that square for that 60 seconds. Here, at an eight point if you need to, you go down to your knees, take a couple deep breaths, 
come back up and get rolling when you're ready. We're gonna do that for the first two rounds. On the third round, we're gonna finish up with some chopper action here, so we'll get a bit of a finisher in. Woo! We're gonna get those feet going as quickly as you can. And then when that coach yells out some instructions, you're gonna follow what he or she says here. So if I say left, you rotate those hips left. As I say right, rotate those hips right. If I say punch it, you're gonna <laughs> dance wild, right? One more time, punch it. <laughs> if I say hit the floor, you're gonna go down the floor into that burpee, come back up, get those feet going as quickly as you can. So we will do that for that last round of the workout this week. That is our muscle minute workout for this week. Great job, Tia. <laughs>